Hey guys, today we're going to look at how to detect two different objects colliding in your app. This is going to be particularly useful if you're making a game where if two objects touch, the game is over. So let's start by making a quick uh, new project, name it anything, it doesn't really matter. Once we're in it, we're going to just start by creating a very simple Z stack to hold a couple of our rectangles inside it because we're only going to use two rectangles to demonstrate the system. So create a rectangle, uh, give it a color of black or anything else that will distinguish it from the second rectangle we're going to make. Give it a frame of 100 by 100, just so it's a nice big size on the screen. And the second rectangle, make it a different color, uh, maybe blue or something else that you like. And the frame is going to be the same size. It could be something else. It doesn't matter for this demo, but let's see what this looks like very quickly, just to make sure that it looks all right on the screen. and we should get two nice rectangles that don't do anything on the screen there we go actually they're on top of each other because it's a z stack so it's um the way it works is uh it's facing you so they're one behind the other in order to fix this we're going to create uh we're going to give them a position on the screen and the way we're going to give them a position is uh, we're going to use variables to do that and we're going to say position self x uh, position 1 and y equals to self y position 1. The For the second rectangle, we'll say uh, x position 2 and y position 2. Uh, you'll see in a second why we're doing it this way. We could have just hard-coded it into the code and said, you know, give a position. But this way, when we create variables, we can change those variables and track them later. So you'll see this will have the effect of moving one below the other. We have the blue one on the bottom and the black one on top. And uh, as I mentioned, this will become apparent why very soon. The blue one, we want to move around and we want to detect when it uh, essentially collides with the black one. So the way we're going to do this is create a gesture and a drag gesture for the blue rectangle. And on change, so every time our finger moves a little bit and the screen detects that our finger has moved a little bit, we're going to take the value of the position of our finger and give that value to the x position 2. The, so x position 2 and y position 2 refer to the blue rectangle. So we're going to change those x and y positions to reflect where our finger is on the screen. That's what the drag gesture does. It tracks your finger on the screen and it takes the location of your finger and now we can pass that on to the blue rectangle and as you see, it moves around the screen. Okay, great, so now we can move the blue rectangle around but we don't know uh, when it's colliding so we need some kind of a function to do that. So we're going to build a function called check collision and all we're going to do inside is have uh, just a simple if statement. And what we're going to do here is say, Look at the x position of the two rectangles. So x position 1 minus x position 2. If it is less than 100, because 100 is the size of the edge of the rectangles. So if it is less than that, and you do the same with the y position. So if x is uh, the difference between the x coordinates and the difference between the y coordinates of the two rectangles is less than 100, then we have a collision. And if we detect that, then we're going to toggle a Boolean and say, hey, we have a collision, and then we can uh, use that variable later to do other things with it. So here, all we're doing is saying toggle the collision variable to true if we meet these parameters, else toggle it back to false because there is no collision. And at this point, we're ready to test the code. We're going to just do yeah. Oh, uh, one thing you should remember is uh, definitely use absolute values because sometimes if the blue rectangle is on the left or on the right, it won't work if it's a very simple um, minus. So you need the absolute value. And then you need to run the check collision function uh, during the on change event. So we're going to run it every single time our finger moves a little bit. And now we have printed out the collision message uh, every time we detect a collision we see that it works we're going to just display this on the screen now instead of just printing it in the console we're going to say if self collision is true then display a text uh, saying collision sad face otherwise do nothing 
And now if the blue rectangle collides, we see a message like collision, collision, collision. We can test it from each side to make sure it works. And we can see that it does. And that's it. That's everything. I hope this is helpful. Have fun coding.